Subscribe and like click please. Hi I am Coach KD. This video will show you the basic alignment and assignment of cover 3 defense, and the simple movements you can make when doing pass defense. I divided it into the situation when the invert was done and the situation when it was not. I will show you the situation when you play cover 3 defense in sky, cloud, buzz and opposite. First, let's look at the alignment of cover 3 defense. Let's look at the linebackers first. The two outside linebackers should be on the outside of the number 2 receiver, if possible. This is to allow the defenders to defend a little easier when the number 2 receiver moves outward. Of course, if this is the outside linebacker on the boundary side, it's okay to be inside the number 2 receiver. Cornerback players are a little further inside than the number 1 receiver to compensate for the weakness of cover 3 defense. Because there are only 3 players in the deep zone, if the zone between the 3 players is too wide, the space can be a big weakness, so the cornerback players are a little more inward than the number 1 receiver and offset any weakness. Finally, when looking at the alignment of the safety player, the distance from the LOS is 12 to 15 yards. Because the under zone is strengthened and the deep zone is weakened, it is aimed to focus on the defensive more and more. Next, let's look at the assignment of cover 3 defense. If you think it is very simple, divide the deep zone by 3, and you can think of the under zone as 2 flat zones and 2 hook curl zones. I express the role itself to give a more detailed role. The deep zone is in triplicate, and the linebacker specifies the role inside and outside the number 2 receivers. The result is nothing more than a representation of the name of the zone, but I think this method is more efficient for players to understand. In the case of an assignment, if you install the secondary role in the players after the primary role, it will be a stronger defense team. Here are the advantages and disadvantages of cover 3 defense based on cover 4 defense. The advantage of cover 3 defense is that the under zone is strengthened. Because one of the defensive back players is in the under zone rather than the deep zone, the under zone is stronger than the cover 4 defense. Therefore, there is a strong point in defending short passes in the under zone. With a single back formation, even if the offense team has four receivers, fast timing passes are relatively easy to defend. And the benefit is that you can run support a little faster. Even if you play in any direction, one defensive back is focused on under zone defense, so it's easy to defend the run play rather than the cover for defense. The disadvantage of cover 3 defense is the opposite. While the under zone is stronger, the deep zone is weaker, so weakness occurs in this part. Since there are only 3 defenders in the deep zone, we cannot help but reveal the weaknesses that are thrown into the deep zone. Especially since the space between the cornerback and the safety zone is a weak point, it has weaknesses in the slant route and post route to this zone. Next, you'll see a simple pass defense method in cover 3 defense. Sky, Cloud, and Buzz. Let's take a look at the advantages of each. First of all, when you divide this form, it will be understandable to think about what player moves in the blue box shown in the image. When the safety moves to the flat zone, it is called Sky. If there is a corner back in the flat zone, it is called the Cloud, and if the linebacker moves in the flat zone, it is called Buzz. Think of S, the foremost spelling of safety, C, the foremost spelling of cornerbacks, and B, the foremost spelling of backers. Cover 3 Sky
Cover 6 Sky. Cover 6 Cloud Cover 3 Cloud Cover 3 Buzz Cover 6 Buzz In my case, if I apply this form to the other side, I play it with the name cover 6. Playing naming will be different for each coach, but it will be helpful if you refer to this as well. What do you think about the videos I made? Communicate with comments and grow together. Click subscribe and like.